How's it going, gearheads? Toby with GearReport.com here today to bring you another quality firearm review. Today we're going to be talking about the DSP Armory Minuteman DSP-15. That's Deep South Precision Armory DSP-15, Minuteman DSP-15. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the rifle itself. I want to start with some of the modifications I made to it so that when we're talking about this thing, you, you, you know the difference between what came and what didn't come or what changed or what didn't change. So right out of the box, I did change the flash hider to a Strike Industries flash hider. I added an M-Lock um, QD detachment point to the rail. Not M-Lock. Key mod, because this is a key mod for in. Though DSP Armory does certainly make it in a uh, M-Lock version. I added obviously a flashlight with a CAA quick release. I added the, the diamond shot, hole shot, uh, op, uh, iron sights. I added an EOTech. I added a uh, the 512, the original uh, or the older version, uh, in a Magpul MS1 sling. And I changed the stock out to a Viper, a Strike Industries Viper stock. And I did add a an extended magazine release. And that is it. Um, I didn't change anything else. Everything else is from the factory. And so we're going to talk about that. So from the factory, let's just talk about the big pink elephant in the room. You can go out there today with the current prices and the current environment, and you can pick up an, an uh, semi-decked out AR-15 for around $450 to $500. Now, it may be one of the build-your-own options from some of the different companies, but you can certainly get into an AR-15, a base-level starter AR-15, for just under $500. Now, once you bolt on some of the, the features such as Cerakote, uh, more advanced bulk carrier groups, um, Magpul furniture or whatever furniture you choose to add on to it, uh, you know, extended releases, ambidextrous safeties, et cetera, et cetera, charging handles, so on and so forth, it's going to start adding up and adding up and adding up. So this particular rifle, the Minuteman DSP-15, comes directly from DSP at a price point just under a thousand dollars. It's nine hundred. It's it's a bit over nine hundred, just under a thousand. Uh, and if you're watching this video, by the way, if you go over to DSP Armory, they're offering an exclusive discount for Gear Report viewers and subscribers that you can buy any rifle, the Minuteman, Titan, or the um, Patriot line of rifles from them, with a ten percent discount using just the GR the code GR10 at checkout. That's Golf Romeo 10 at checkout. But where I was going with all that is, um, right out of the box, this thing comes with most all the, the features that we just talked through. Now, I, I tend to, to shoot, I mean, I, I don't shoot my gun military level shooting, but I shoot my rifle quite a bit. And so little touches that come, that go ahead and come ahead of time on a rifle are, uh, are, are nice touches for me and show me whether the, qual the quality of the rifle and whether it's worth purchasing or not. So a couple things right out of the box and right out of the gates that this came with uh, is it did come with an ambidextria safety. So as you can see, that's on both sides, okay? So that saves you some money. It came with uh, an oversized trigger guard. That saves you money. It comes with the MOE Plus grip, the one that's rubberized and has a really good feel to it. That saves you some money. It came with an, a Magpul stock, which I then removed. Uh, that saves you some money. Stocks can actually run pretty expensive. Uh, it came with a good quality Cerakote and nice engraving on it. That saves you some money instead of getting the advanced. It came with a Strike Industries dust cover. That saves you some money. It came with a Birdsong Black Tea coated bolt carrier group. A more advanced full auto rated bolt carrier group. That saves you quite a bit of money, and I want to note has survived quite well through all of my testing with only very few wear points on the bolt carrier group itself where the, the birdsong or the black tea coating is, is starting to wear off. It comes with an oversized advanced battle style charging handle. That saves you quite a bit of money. Yeah, you can see the dirt. I didn't clean this thing as good as I need to on that last shoot, last shoot and run with it. Um, it comes with a level two 
mil spec trigger instead of just your standard 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 mil spec trigger so while it's not your your full-blown drop in timneys or or geisley or anything like that it's still saving you money and giving you a more advanced trigger right out of the box so pound for pound i want to make very clear that while this rifle may cost up around thousand dollars with the gr10 discount code you know 900 bucks you're getting all of that added bonus material right out of the box that you wouldn't get with a $450, $500 rifle. Uh, and trust me when I tell you, you're then going to go out and get that stuff. So you're going to start with a $450, $500 rifle, and then you're going to start building on that. Me personally, I like the idea of being able to buy one straight out of the box. It's got everything I want and everything I need for the most part. I mean, you've seen the things I did change out for the style that I run it. Uh, that you can then throw on your particular customizations and just go. There's there's no reason to start getting into the mechanics or the workings of, of the machine itself or the tool itself. All right, so let's talk about the testing. So I shot this little beauty, probably grand total, it ended up being around six or 700 rounds of uh, 223 and 556. Uh, and this rate is rated as 223 wild, by the way. So it will take either one that you toss in it. It'll eat anything you throw at it pretty much. And it, it performed flawlessly. No, no errors, no issues whatsoever. And I also want to make clear that I, I intentionally ran it dry out of the box. And what I mean by that is straight out of the box from DSP Armory, they did have a very minor amount of lubrication on it, but not, not what you or I would put on the bulk carrier group and the rails and, and to run a full blown AR-15 uh, in a professional setting. I ran it dry on purpose because I wanted to see what that bolt carrier group would do with that, that black tea coating on it. Uh, and it, it performed flawlessly. I, I had no, I mean, I can't complain. It had, it had no issues whatsoever. Uh, it, it ran flawlessly through every shooter, every, every scenario I put it through, it ran great. I did eventually break down and clean the thing, but that was only after I used the CMMG Bravo 22 long rifle conversion kit and shot just shy of a thousand rounds of really crappy bulk Walmart style 22 long rifle ammo through it. So I had concerns about fouling in general. I had concerns about fouling up the gas tube and some of the other, you know, uh, some of the other mechanics in it, like the, the trigger. So I finally broke down and just cleaned it all at the same time afterwards to give it, to give it a good once over. And you know what? Through all that test criteria, I had no malfunctions to speak of. Obviously 22 long rifle is going to malfunction here and there. Uh, but I had no malfunctions to speak of. There was a few little points that I'm going to bring up here in just a second uh, when we talk about some of the cons. Uh, but nothing really mechanically that gave me any room for pause or any room for concern. All right. So some of the positive things about this thing. One is, oh my God, dude, that safety. Being ambidextrous and large and, and slightly oversized, that thing is just smooth and it just feels just right for, for firearm manipulation. Okay, it's nice and, and you know, in desperate situations, you can use either hand, works well for lefty and I actually had a left-handed shooter run this gun and he, he loved it. Um, the trigger, it, not a performance aftermarket trigger, but it has such a short and smooth and crisp reset. I mean, that thing is, thing is so smooth and so crisp. I love this trigger. Um, I'm even tempted to probably not dr use a drop-in trigger to replace it. I'm tempted to keep this thing forever. Um, love that trigger. That is a super positive. Again, we've already mentioned the, um, we've already mentioned the extra accessories and extra parts that come with it out of the box, which just saves you the money of having to build that stuff out yourself. Uh, that's a bonus. Uh, the, and a pro for it, the coating. When I say that I threw this thing on the ground, I tortured it, I threw chemicals on it, I got dirt on it, that kind of thing, I really did kind of torture it and torment it a little bit more than I probably should have. And as you can see, there is no noticeable damage other than a couple of pieces of, or a couple of flakes of paint or Cerakote, like right there. And then of course, right in here that I have knocked off of this thing. And that's just starting to give it personality. So I don't know what or who is doing their Cerakoting for, for them, but they're doing a great job. Uh, even, even the deflection, the deflector has held very well. They held its coating in it, in it and uh, 
it's quality very well. Um, the coating on the bolt carrier group, we talked about that black tea bird song. Uh, that's legendary as to the quality of that. And again, from a lubricated, non lubricated perspective, you know, uh, it, it didn't fail to work. It worked perfectly. Um, some of the other positives for it are the weight. That thing weighs in just right. I mean, dressed out this thing, there's, there's no way it's much over eight pounds, if that. There's just no way. Balance on it is just beautiful. The way it balances and feels when you're shooting it and when you're running with it is just amazing. It's incredible. It's a really good rifle. Just overall, this thing is extremely well built and extremely good quality rifle. Um, I don't know that I have anything of significance negative to say about it. Most everything I have to say is of positive nature. All right, so the ultimate quality test. Would I buy this rifle? Would I spend my money and buy this rifle? Now, bearing in mind that I, I can build my own. I'm no gunsmith, so when it comes to setting the, the gas block and things like that, I do the best I can being a YouTube master. Um, but I can build my own or I can purchase prefabricated ones at the lower price point. So would I spend the extra couple hundred dollars to buy this particular rifle? And would I trust my life, my children's life, my wife and my dog's life to this rifle? So to answer the first question, yeah. I mean, knowing what I know about rifles and about running them in, in uh, the heavier courses of fire and the way that, that a modern rifle, according to modern tactics and standards, is, is utilized, Absolutely. I mean, I would buy it and throw a couple of the accessories on it. The, the very few accessories that you see uh, that were required for your particular um, specifications for what you're going in to do that at that particular, I hate to say mission specific because come on, which one of us is actually going to be on a mission? Okay, well, my mission is to go to the grocery store and get me some more Cheetos and I ain't taking that. So yeah, I mean, I would buy it and I would bolt on a few parts at that price point and know that I got a good quality rifle that was dependable and it's going to last me for, you know, tens of thousands of rounds. Would I trust my family's life to it, my children, my dog, my life? Yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, not only would I, but I do and am right now. And what I mean by that is I rotate out some of the firearms that I keep inside the house for, um, for those bump in the night situations. And sometimes I'll keep an AR-15 style pistol. Sometimes it's a, a you know pistol caliber, uh, pistol caliber rifle. Sometimes it's a shotgun. Sometimes it's this, sometimes it's that, whatever. I equip all of them roughly the same way with a, with a firearm mounted light, a quick, quick target acquisition red dot, and a specific two point sling so that I can then do a transition to pistol if I need to in the event that something, in the event of a malfunction on my primary. Um, but yeah, I've thrown this one into the rotation. Uh, it's actually been um, setting in my top secret uh, defensive location for about a month now, uh, maybe not quite a month. Um, and I've, you know, I've, I've intentionally gotten up, you know, not in the middle of the night. I haven't done too much night shooting with it, very little, um, which is why I put the Strike Industries flash hider in specific on it because that's a flash hider designed to push the flash outwards, which helps in with those types of things. Um, but I've, I've jumped up and shot with it quite a few times. Uh, and, and yes, I can and am and do trust my life to this rifle for, for now. So let's talk about a couple things that I consider a con. Um, first off, and this, this could have been user error, but I don't think so necessarily. Uh, right out of the box, and this could be, your mileage may vary on this one. Okay, so let me be perfectly clear. When you're, when you're by yours, right out of the box, yours may not do this. It could be something that... Uh, I had an issue maybe with the thickness of the coating or maybe with the lubrication on the spring or whatever the case may be, who knows. But the bolt hold open for mine right out of the box wouldn't hold the bolt open as the magazine rise or as the, the follower of the magazine hit it and pushed it upwards. It wasn't catching the bolt and holding it rearward like, it, like it's designed to do. Um, so what I did was I made the horrible mistake of trying to push the pin out by beating it out, because that's what you do with them, right? I mean, you want to replace it, you want to take that, that bolt hold open, you beat the pin out, you take it out, you move on with your life. Well, guess what? So DSP Armory uh, does such, a, they try to pay attention to all the tiny little details and do such a good job on trying to build a quality product that they, they actually um, did something they should have done 
and they put an Allen wrench set screw in there instead of a, 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 a roll pin through there. Um, they put a, an Allen wrench set screw, and I didn't realize it ahead of time, so I actually damaged the, actually damaged the Allen wrench uh, set screw as I was trying to get it out to replace it with. A, I was going to put a Geisley Marine style oversized uh, bolt catch, and you know I just damaged the Allen wrench or Allen screw big time. So I then just sat and cycled it one night while I was watching a movie, you know, a couple thousand times like this, and then I, I oiled it inside the spring area. A uh, couple drops down in there, and it started working fine. So the reality of it is, it was probably user error slash newness slash oiling slash the coating was a little too thick in that one particular spot. Uh, I messed up the fact by by assuming lower quality build and lower quality products when in fact it was not lower quality build and lower quality products by trying to beat out the pin uh, and I damaged the coating on it and stuff like that. But that's okay. It's a good story to tell, and it's a good information for you. Gearheads, thanks for tuning in and checking out another one of our reviews. We really appreciate your support and your continued patronage to come back to us. Your support and your patronage is what keeps us being able to give you this content and hopefully it's beneficial and helpful for you in helping you to make the decision to how to spend your hard earned money. So I don't know about you, but I work me eh, hardish for my money <laughs> and I don't want to waste a single penny of it. So. If you would reciprocate and return the favor by liking our YouTube channel, following us, following, you know, ringing the little bell, subscribing, notifications, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the different face pages that are out there, GunStreamer, YouTube, all the different media platforms that you see Gear Report at and on, love us, like us, follow us, show us all that love, and we'll keep bringing you all the content we possibly can. As long as you keep coming back and keep wanting it and keep desiring the content, we'll keep spitting it out for you. So until we see you again at the range, you keep living your dream.